We start now at 10 o'clock as the City County Council advanced a proposal that would enact tighter gun restrictions in Marion County earlier tonight. News 8's Adam Pinsker joins me now live in the studio. So, Adam, even if this ordinance passes, it can't be enforced? That's correct. It cannot, Alexis. That's according to state law. The Indiana State Legislature passed a preemption law in 2011. It prohibits municipalities from regulating guns, gun ownership, or ammunition. Should that law be overturned by future legislatures, Indianapolis's gun proposal would become effective, but for now, it is just a statement against what city leaders say is an out-of-control gun problem. Mr. Chair, are you going to let this happen? Emotions bubbled over during the Indianapolis Public Safety and Criminal Justice Committee meeting on Wednesday. The committee advanced a proposal along party lines that would raise the age to buy a gun in Marion County from 18 to 21 and permitless carry in the county and ban semi-automatic weapons and military-style assault rifles. To take effect if and only if the legal, legal hurdle to their enforcement were to go away. For that to happen, the Republican supermajority in the state legislature would need to overturn a law barring municipalities from passing and enforcing gun ordinances. Though largely symbolic, Indianapolis Metropolitan Police say the flow of high-powered guns in the community has contributed to the city's rising homicide rate. Mayor Joe Hogsett says he was threatened over his decision to push these reforms forward. Pressures from political perspective, well, that's to be expected. But also direct threats to me personally, if I do not back down... I hope and I pray that none of you will experience those kinds of threats. The proposal needs a full vote by the city council next month before it passes. Council Brian Mowry was one of four members who voted against it in committee. He blames gun violence problems in part on lax enforcement of laws by the Marion County Prosecutor's Office. One thing that this council body is tasked to do is create ordinances that are in line with our purview. Um, this proposal now is not in that line and, and we're saying that you know what if these what if statements don't work tomorrow afternoon the city plans on rolling out new security technology that will create the city's first gun-free zone at garfield park the park is the site of this weekend's wonder road music festival adam pinsker wish tv wish tv.com and like us on facebook